Jaleesa where you are back to another video this is Monday motivation makeup on a Monday so I thank you guys for tuning back into another video this is gonna be an awesome information packed glammed out video so I hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys had a blessed Monday um thank you guys for tuning in make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for all the videos because I have some surprises coming up so stay tuned for the remainder of the video to figure out what the surprises are Woo! so I love you guys make sure you go ahead and go to your Bibles and Jonah we're gonna be coming tonight from chapters 3 uh, verses 1 through 10. So we're going to go ahead and pray us in. If you're new to the Butterfly Ambassador Ministries, welcome you. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome as well. So I'm going to pray us in. And Butterfly Ambassadors was um, bestowed upon me from the Lord. And it's just a fun, impactful uh, ministry where I am able to um, share the love of Christ with everyone that believes in Him and just everyone that needs encouragement. So each Monday... Um, there's videos where you're inspired and motivated, uplifted through the Word of God, through prayer with me, through connecting and holding each other accountable and just meeting um, different kind of peoples at the areas of where they're at spiritually and helping you guys grow, helping each other restore one another and just love on each other and just sh sharing the gospel in a positive way so that's what the butterfly ambassador ministries is about now butterfly ambassadors monday motivation that's it's every monday at 7 p.m or 8 p.m depending on the times and it's on facebook live youtube instagram snapchat twitter all social media so make sure you stay connected with me um so i pray with people i communicate you know one-on-one -on -one. if there's anything you're going through i'd be happy to pray with you and help you through that storm and know that you can overcome through jesus christ so I'm going to pray us in. Um, God loves you so much. And we're going to pray and get started. All right. Holy Spirit, thank you for today. Thank you for all the butterfly ambassadors that are viewing this video. I pray that everything that's said from my mouth is replaced with you, not Jaleesa's thoughts, not Jaleesa's opinions, but just your truth, your word, your love, God. I just thank you for everyone that's um, watching this video. I pray that their lives are impacted. I pray that their mindsets are just focused upon you, clear them from any distractions, clear them from any negative thoughts, any anxiety, God. We just bind anything that's not of you from them at this time. We pray for a powerful week ahead, a productive week ahead, and for them to keep persevering whatever they may be going through that you will give them the strength to to get through the week with joy lord we just thank you for all that you're doing in our lives we thank you for waking us up to see another day lord we're just so excited for what you have for us tonight on this money motivations and we just thank you for all the viewers we are inspired by your your word and the story and we just thank you for just um implementing different various people that we can relate to that can help us in our journey and our spiritual faith walk with you as our leader we just thank you lord for just being patient loving kind and genuine with us god even when we stumble lord we just thank you for your grace and your mercy god for you and forever but we just thank you for all that you're doing we thank you for the viewers that will watch in the future we thank you for people that have been watching since day one lord we just thank you for everyone and we thank you for just showing us um how to be corrected in love and how to stay on the right right path the right track and have the right mindset and stay righteous so we just love you jesus and we just worship and praise you lord in the name of jesus for all that you do for us and we just thank you for just counting things done in your namesake and working all things out in your goodness even though we may see it look bad but you always make things come out good in the end so we glorify your name we magnify you we're, we're just happy to be in the midst of you lord and thank you once again for another video god bless you guys and amen all right guys so let's get it started up make sure you get a pad to write down some notes and grab some people share the video i pray you guys are blessed by it let's hey get started so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the my motivation we already prayed us, ourselves in so um today's look i have no idea what the lord wants me to do to my my um face today but we're gonna just let him have his way but we're gonna be coming from jonah today so if you have your bibles open open up to jonah chapter three verse one through ten um i have the king james version so if you have a different version that's okay just follow along the wish the best way you can all right so what i'm reading um jonah chapter three verse one through ten and the word of the lord came unto jonah the second time saying 
Arise, go unto Nevaeh, the great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now, Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and a put on a sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne. He arose from his throne. Pay attention to that, that sentence. And he laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and satin ashes. Sackcloth like burlap. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published. through Proclaim means like decreeing a law, like creating a law. Published through Nevaeh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. Meaning, if you don't follow this law, you're going to be dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're the death penalty if you don't follow this law. Okay? But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. So, praising the Lord. Okay? Now, man, now just keep in mind that the, the city of Nineveh, they were... As we would say, atheists, okay? So now that they're they're crying out to the Lord, this is the law that they have to abide to. Verse 8. Yea, let them turn everyone from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. Verse 9. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? Verse 10. And God saw their works that they turned from their evil way and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them and he did not. Goodness. Hey, Thank you. So we just Lord. read the scripture verse to Jonah. So I went on ahead and just um, did my eyebrows off camera because I don't want to spend like five hours doing eyebrows. You guys have, you know, things to do. <laughs> so <clears throat> I went on ahead and put some primer on my eyelid um i suggest ladies use your pinky because it's the it's the lightest finger that we have on our hand um if you use your middle finger your ring finger your index your thumb you're gonna be applying way too much primer excuse me on your eyelid i just had lunch sorry guys i'm sorry but yeah so i want to go back to a little bit back um when it comes to talking about Jonah because I don't know if everybody knows the story of Jonah but if you don't this is your time to go ahead and back and read it after you watch this video but um I want to go back to the background so basically in a nutshell this is what happens so uh God calls Jonah to preach to Nineveh and mostly like us when God instructs us to do something he expects us to do it but um we're just like Jonah sometimes we when God um asks us to do something that's out of our comfort zone we're like no god and we go the opposite direction so that's what jonah did he got on this boat y'all probably was like a little little uh wannabe yacht you know what i'm saying a little boat he went on you know and he goes another direction now um when he's on this boat y'all there's some, um, some, some of the Ninevites are on the boat, but some of the uh, pagans are on there as well. And they don't believe um, in Jesus. They believe like some parts, but not like the full totality of the Lord. So yeah. So anyways, so Jonah had the opportunity in this moment to preach the gospel of Jesus, right? So there's this crazy storm. I mean, the waves are just going rapid as if, you know, um, you know, like a beach storm, something like that. You know, you just see like a whole bunch of winds going crazy and the water just going sick. So the Ninevites are like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like who is causing this sin to come about on this boat? So who is do who is allowing it, this to happen? So Jonah, he all big and bad, you feel me? He's like, oh, well, you know, it's me. So, and look, y'all, instead of him... At that time, he had the opportunity to right then and there say, Lord is real. You know, you should repent of your sins and follow the Lord. He could have he helped them, you know, um, trust in the Lord. 
But what he do? Get in his feelings like we do. We're very emotionally led at times. And he got in his feelings. He's like, well, you know, guys, just throw me overboard. What? Yeah, he tells, he tells them to throw him over the board. Well, not over the board, but overboard <laughs> of the boat. And that way the storm will, will cease. Crazy, right? So he'd rather give up his life instead of just following what God told him to do. We do this all the time. Have you ever, when you were younger, your mama told you to wash dishes, right? You said, all right, mom, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Hour later, you on that phone or you, you know, you're doing something else. You ain't doing dishes yet, right? What she do? Didn't I tell you to wash the dishes? <laughs> my mom was. I didn't have to hear that. I just got my hair, my, my mouth pop, you know. But, um, you know, or just like maybe your dad tells you to mow the lawn. What you do? Yeah, all right, dad, I got it, dad. You say that, right? But you don't go out there and do it. You wait and say, well, I'm going to get to it, dad. Let me just finish this video game, dad. I'm going to get to it, dad. dad. All the stupid excuses. That game don't care about you. <laughs> you better go mow that lawn. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's the same thing as we, as we do. Or how about this as an adult? How about when your boss asks you to do a report within 24 hours, it's out of your comfort zone and it has to be due the next day. You have to like, um, get some analytical, analytical data. You gotta make an Excel spreadsheet. You gotta like do a presentation on it. You gotta have your, um, notable sources with it. And we're like, uh all right and you say that right <laughs> but in the back of your head like how am i gonna do this lord and, and you you get it done but you're procrastinating like you um on social media looking at people's news feeds watching the stupid reality tv shows you're in a business watching uh-huh we get distracted instead of just doing what we were asked to do we find ways to distract we find things to distract us and we get in our own way and then we get ahead of god and then when things don't go the way we want them to go we get upset at god when in reality if we would have just followed what god had instructed us to do in the beginning we wouldn't have to be dealing with the ultimatum of what happened because we're the reasoning why it happened hope that made sense but <laughs> but yeah i just feel like Especially in this passage, disobedience is so prevalent and clear in this passage. So if you ever feel like, you know, you're, you think you're doing the right things, and it's really tough for you in this season of your life, you're just trying to understand why um, it's kind of hard for you to hear or discern from the Lord or discern what to do and decision making, and you kind of like go back and forth. Just make sure you're not, um, you're not refer you're referring to your opinion, but you're referring to what God has instructed you to do. So I'm, I learned that. I'm learning that as well. But just make sure you have discernment and ask the Lord all the time. Um, and he'll, he'll, 999.9%, .9%, we know what to do, but we just opt that 1% because it, it, it looks better. It, it um, feels better. It, it's what we can relate to. It's comfortable for us. Um, but when we um, are challenged, to do something that is not normal. I mean, think about it. Jonah had Jonah was called to preach to atheists. Like <laughs> they don't believe in the Lord. So that that I'm pretty sure that was a big challenge for him. And plus, he had to travel 500 miles or so. I mean, if the passage says 3 days, some people say 40 days, some people say 3 years. I mean, I'll research it and see, but eh, I just know it's a long time. I know that much. But the passage for the word of God says three days. So I'm just I'm stick with three days. But I mean, think about that. Would we really journey three days to preach to people that don't believe in the Lord? Like, will we really will we really do that? That's what I, I really grasp from this passage is like, wow, you know, when God calls us to do small things like praying for your family member or you know, giving your friend who has no job income just to get them something to eat or give them some gas money in their car. It's, it's just amazing to me how we don't take the time to look out for someone else when God calls us to do that. Because, you know, the enemy is not going to tell you to give nobody no money. He he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So, you know, that's not him. It's not your conscience. You don't have no conscience. It's just the Holy Spirit leading you to do the right thing. But you probably ought to do something else because... You feel like that's not what you're supposed to do. You feel like you can't trust this person. The person did something to you in the past, whatever, whatever. 
So I just feel like when God calls you to do something in love, just do it. That That's really what I feel like the Lord wants us all to do is follow him, let him lead. Um, you know, even if it doesn't feel good to us, do y'all know, and I, I am learning this like so heavy right now. I'm learning this right now. <laughs> do y'all know that God don't care how we feel? <laughs> like God does not care how we feel like at all. Like, <laughs> like he does not care how we feel. He, his plans will prevail our plans. Now, yes, God cares for us. He comforts us. You know, he loves on us. But I'm talking about he don't care. Like, for instance, the preacher asks you to, you know, read scripture aloud with the congregation. You're like, Lord, I don't feel like, I don't feel like reading in front of these people. I'm shy. I don't know. God does not care about that. He wants you to read the word of God aloud to the congregation because you were asked to do it. Now, when someone says, go jump off the bridge, that ain't God. You feel me? Like, don't. Don't make it like a sarcastic thing. Like, no, that's not the Lord. But I'm talking about like simple things that we just revert from. We want to just do another thing. When someone asks you to serve in your church, you know, like be an usher or um, be in the choir. Like, nah, I'm not Beyonce. I can't sing like y'all. So, you know, I'm just going to (laughs) like do something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. (laughs) If God is calling you to that area in the ministry, how do you even know he called you to sing? It could just be being assistant to the choir director. It could just be helping um, the little children, you know, sing and little children be being um, fearless to do what the will of the Lord said for them to do. You just can't be so quick to assume things. Or how about this? When the Lord calls you to go reach out to your mother, reach out to your father on Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, whatever it is, and you say, nah, I'm good because they're going to bring up the last time I was over there. They're going to bring up this other stuff, this other stuff. Why are you having those strongholds of guilt in your heart when your mom, all your mom wants to do is hear you say, I love you? Like, but we do this. (laughs) We have these uh, preconceived notions and this mis misconceived you know thoughts in our mind that if we do this this is how it's going to happen well you have no idea how it's going to go down but for some reason you allow the enemy to to tap into your mindset and if you think otherwise than what the lord is trying to get you to see so my prayer is that um you just follow what god is telling you to do and don't overthink don't overanalyze don't be emotionally led and follow what the word of god is saying and don't be disobedient like John right, was. Y'all. So um, I went on ahead and added some eyeshadow. I did like a under a soft like a soft under tint pink. But I want to show you guys um, how to get the lippy that I did the other day. A lot of you guys are asking about the um, burgundy brown moth kind of look. So let me show you what I do is my secret. Okay. So you can use any um, black. A matte lip stick that you may have I have the it's called the absolute New York matte lip that's what it's called um, the absolute matte lip and this is black the color is you know that shows you what color it is this can be found at any blue supply store um, I believe it's like a dollar 99 I don't know but this is what I use so um, this is the matte black lippy and then from um, Victoria's Secret I use the um sunset. It's about gone. <laughs> I use the sunset um Victoria's Secret um lip gloss. It's the f- uh, flavor of punch, punch love. It's really super old. Um, but yeah, so this is what I use as the um gloss. So you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So, <laughs> um, so I already applied some like lip like chapstick. Sorry, not lip but chapstick some lips already so that's why they're kind of like moisturized looking so this is what i do y'all it's all i do so i get the um the lip glossy and just apply it to the lip not too heavy this um one in particular is very smooth um it has like a glittery shimmer so I apply it only only to the bottom lip because I have a big bottom lip. <laughs> so um, yeah, and then you just kind of because it's it's a little sticky but not like heavy sticky. If that makes any kind of sense. 
So that's all I do. And then you just kind of go around. Slow, okay? Now I get the matte lip. And I know some of you are like, what? I'm like, yeah, girl, this is what I do. <laughs> I get the matte lippy. And then I kind of just trace the um, bottom line of my lip. Now this gets kind of dark. So I kind of just let the lip. But you see, that's all I do. Like that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my cute so not done of course because it looks look crazy right now but hold on so like that <laughs> but that's what I do and just kind of just mix it in that's, that's pretty much all I do <laughs> But it comes out with looking really, really cute. Um, <laughs> so that's it. Because I know some people do like the lip liner thing. But this is what I do. And if you want to go deeper. Then you can use um, this. Let's see. You can use um, a matte red. And just put it on top. But this, don't put a lot. Because this will stay in your lip. So, but you see, I already have the lip gloss, so it's easy to come off. So, just kind of just you see, I put four dots of this on the, and you see how color, the pigment is so strong. See, that's all you do. So, that's the lippy. It's like a burgundy, like, mauve looking color, but it's super pretty. Like, it's so cute. Now, I did a wash and go on my hair earlier this morning. That's why my hair is, like, still a little bit white because it's from the um, conditioner. But I think this is my best wash and go, like, to date. Um, I tried the um, new method. Well, it's old to some people, but it's new to me. So I did it in the shower where I, um, I rinsed, I, like, drenched my hair in water like oh my god you guys like my hair was soaked and then i just did the curls blueberry bliss hair reparative wash so i washed my hair with that twice and then i rinsed it out thoroughly parted it into four sections and then i put the garnier fruities um whole blends repair and conditioner on each four quadrant and then um i applied the um garnier fruities butter nourish styling cream and just pressed it in like the praying hands method and i'm letting it dry and it's coming out really super cute i have a lot of body a lot of moisture so that's the white stuff you guys are seeing because you see you don't see it over here it's gonna dry this like this but thank the lord so super super cool so that is my finished makeup look so hope you guys like it and it's super pretty so especially for summertime i love this look um i think it's really cute especially like to go out really quick to go do something with your girlfriends on a little lunch business meeting really simple not too too dramatic but i think it's really really pretty so yeah guys so hope you guys like this look i pray this video inspired you i pray that it encouraged you today it's money motivations makeup on a monday so i pray you guys are blessed love y'all make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell it should be right below you so you stay in tune with all my upcoming videos because i will be doing a sephora and a money giveaway coming up soon to only my subscribers so make sure that you're subscribed you like comment on the videos have a blessed day know that god loves you and so do i be blessed you guys see you guys next monday bye